Have you always wondered what it's meant by the saying, feed the microbes in the ruminant animal and the microbes will then feed the animal? Hi, I'm Shannon Goblin from Ag Solutions and in this video, I'm going to discuss the importance of the microbes when it comes to the health of the ruminant animal. The rumen is the primary site of digestion and absorption of nutrients for ruminants. Now, the energy requirements of ruminants are primarily met through the production of volatile fatty acids, or VFAs. And these are produced by microorganisms that live in the rumen in what we call a symbiotic relationship. The rumen is home to billions of microbes of hundreds of different types and they each break down different feed components that the animal ingests, converting it to VFAs and microbial protein to supply the animal with important nutrients. Ruminants are herbivores and their diet should consist of large amounts of forage. One of the primary carbohydrates in forages is cellulose and the major benefit to the ruminant of having a microbial population living in its digestive system is that only microbial enzymes can break down the cellulose as the animal itself can't produce these enzymes. Therefore, if it wasn't for the microbes, then the animal wouldn't be able to consume grasses and survive. In addition to supplying the ruminant with energy from VFA production, microorganisms also supply the animal with a source of protein. Ruminants are very lucky animals as the rumen microbes are able to synthesize protein using nitrogen from plant ingredients, as well as having the ability to synthesize protein from non-protein nitrogen sources like urea. The microbes themselves are also a source of protein to the animal. As microbes grow and reproduce, the older ones die or simply follow the flow of the digester out of the rumen where they are then available in the small intestine as a high quality source of protein for the animal. The job of microorganisms doesn't stop there as they also supply the majority of the animal's requirements for B vitamins and vitamin K. So as you can see, the health of ruminants is highly dependent on having a healthy population of microorganisms in the rumen. So what we mean by feeding the microbes for a healthy rumen is that when feeding animals, we need to consider how it will affect the microbial population. And we need to take into account that rumen microbes take time to fully adapt after a major diet change. This is particularly important when transitioning animals from forage based diets to grain feeding and vice versa. Microbes perform their very best when there is a consistent supply of nutrition, which maintains a consistent rumen pH. In summary, to help keep the rumen healthy, animals need to eat a sufficient amount of effective fibre and any major feed changes need to be made gradually so that the microbes can stay healthy and continue to produce energy, protein and vitamins for the animal to use. If you are transitioning stock onto a grain ration or have animals going from dry feed to lush green forage, don't forget to contact our Ag Solutions nutrition team for assistance. We provide a free ration formulation service for customers wanting to feed grain and we can also assist with helping you choose the right supplement for the current season at the right time to help keep those rumen bugs healthy. For more information on our Megamin livestock supplement range, visit our website agsolutions.com.au follow our Facebook page or give us a call on 1800 81 57 57. And don't forget to ask for Megamin Livestock Supplements from your preferred store.